Hello, welcome back. This is our Japanese Satsuki Azalea that we did a hard drastic prune on it. Uh, you might recall in the video, I'll show you some of the footage of it now. I cut this really hard back um, and the initial cut back where we took it back to bare branches leaving no leaf on it at all uh, was done nine weeks ago. So this is actually nine weeks and one day since the first footage of trimming it back. Now, this is one that I bought uh, from Japan as a field grown satsuki last year. And uh, the pruning of the satsuki azaleas in the UK, we tend to cut them back. If you're gonna do a sort of hard pruning, ordinarily you do that in early spring, like uh, end of March or something like that. But in the UK, often we can trim them that early on in the year like that. And if we have a dull spring and some not very good weather, they can take time to sort of leaf back out and they can struggle a little bit. The second window of opportunity to cut them really hard back is just after flowering. So um, that's what we tend to do here in the UK. Okay then, so let's start. I'll do it from, uh, I'll try and film it sort of over my shoulder if you like, so you can sort of see, see what I'm doing. They try to read between the lines But all the lines are manufactured for the blind Open your eyes and you will see But first you've got to find your sight Where will it be? We've been on this road for a long time All the paps, nooks and crannies are embedded in my mind We don't seem to learn now, we don't seem to see So try to read between the lines Whoa. Try to read between the lines Whoa A night for a night leaves the whole world blind Whoa So try to read between the lines Whoa Chinese whispers, gullible listeners Piggy in the middle, where do we go wrong? We're going backwards, covered in plastic Stomach with the damage, they're singing this song Do you really hear what I'm getting at? Stop shouting fact to all the mindless crap Propaganda is a deadly weapon So try to read between the lines Whoa So try to read between the lines Whoa A night for a night leaves the whole world blind Whoa So try to read between the lines Whoa Between the lines, whoa, a night for a night leaves the whole world blind. Whoa, try to read between the lines. Whoa, a night for a night leaves the whole world blind. Whoa, a night for a night leaves the whole world blind. Whoa. So this is it now after nine weeks and you see we've got really good distribution of leaf wants a little bit of a prune but we're really happy with how it's 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 come on you know the weather in the uk is not brilliant for doing this sort of work uh, when we first did it we put it in the greenhouse the weather was a bit slow a bit cloudy and it was a little bit slow to come back but in the last few weeks we've had some warmer weather which is a lot more conducive to this coming back into leaf. So now at this stage, I'm going to work my way through like here. There's the odd little twig that hasn't leafed out. That's 
that's nothing to worry about so I can go in and tidy these up and at the same time these longer shoots just as they come in I'm just going to shorten that out shorten them back just to get a bit more just to balance the vigour some little sprouts here that are just pushing out from areas of the branches that we don't need can be taken back as can all these suckers that are sprouting from the base of the tree and further down the trunk so when they're very small you can often rub these off with your fingertips or you can prune them off with scissors just to get them out and off the tree like that <laughs> so some of these little ones just trimming back here there's more leaf coming some bits are quicker than others so just going in and sort of organizing it taking off these little ones that we don't need shortening some sections back and up here where we've got some length of vegetative growth just nipping the tips of those out but just starting to develop redevelop the foliage pads but also make them a lot more compact to what they were so some of these that are growing going down a bit too much here just nip those off just have a little bit of a run through the tree and ideally we'll put this back in the greenhouse it's uh, beginning of August here now so this has still got some growing to do on it this year but the leaves are coming through good nice bright fresh vigorous leaf we've got rid of the old woody growth that we didn't need and replaced it with all this new vigor like these so another few weeks should have a all the foliage plants back into place and if you live in a warmer climate you know and you did this uh, when we did it you'd be way ahead of me by now you know we've just got a bit of a we've had a bit of a dull summer here in the UK only recently having some warm weather so it, it was a uh, it didn't struggle but it was slow to start with but it, once the weather got a little bit better it didn't take long for it to pick up a little bit here this leaf here some of these that are growing a little bit long this is what we'll be doing over the next few weeks just shortening back some of those longer growth and here we've got a foliage pad just starting here so we don't want these little dead twigs growing up through it so we can shorten them back this stuff that's growing down too much a little bit of growth here just starting to get it back into shape for its new owner go back into the greenhouse I say just give it a little bit warmer growing conditions and humidity is really what it wants when we're asking a tree to do what we're asking of this these little suckers we can take out all around the base here like I say some of them will just rub out with your fingertips or you can just sort of take them off like this or cut them if they're a little bit bigger so really pleased with how this has been coming on we've been feeding it we've put a couple of doses of Naruko fertilizer on it while it's been in the greenhouse which has encouraged it to to backboard so well but the fact it's done it quite quickly so well and also quite even evenly is, um, is, is, is what we always what we hopefully expected and what we were looking for so it's been a it's been a good procedure for the tree and it's responded very well to it despite the gloomy weather we've had just a bit of pruning there and that's got it sort of underway a few of those little twigs off another little one here we'll pop it back in the greenhouse see how it goes in the next few weeks Yep, so just tied up these last few little bits 
And if you didn't watch the video of us doing this work, you want to watch a full length video, just look for the Satsuki Azalea drastic pruning video on our channel if you want to watch it in full. Thank you very much.